What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was against the South Korean clan, uh, level 9. Uh, they gave it their best, you know, um, did what they could. Uh, 2.0 really brought the heat this war. 78-59 uh, was the victory. That was a really nice tax from our uh, tens this war. It's really impressed to see uh, their progression. Um, you know, and this, uh, this clan struggled a little bit. Um, couldn't really manage to get uh, get any of those nines down, but uh, did have a bit of a hero advantage down there. So very, very nice job overall for those guys. They gave it their best. Uh, and definitely our guys gave it the best as well. Uh, quite a few um, Town Hall 10 triples in here. Uh, they, these guys had Town Hall 10s all the way down to 16. Obviously very, very rushed ones, but, um, you know, our... Uh, our nines were stepping up, trying to get a lot of two stars in there for our tens to help them out, and we're successful. So uh, you can kind of see how this panned out. The nines got cleared very, very, very quickly. Um, you know, <laughs> not a lot of showdown here. We'll just say um, we just beasted through a lot of these bases, and then uh, we're working on the tens. Uh, this episode, actually, I'm only going to show Town Hall 10 triples. So, uh, sorry, nines, you can take a little bit of a seat this war. Um, do, do, do. <sighs> Where was I going to start? Should have wrote this down. <laughs> There's just so many tens. I think it was right here. My bad, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Check out Mal's hit here on number 13. Uh, brings us a little bit of like a queen charge here, uh, almost like a suicide queen charge. Uh, knows he's going to lock get locked on in that inferno tower, but really just wants to get the defensive queen and the uh, air defense taken down, which immediately happens. Ooh, why did I times for that? Uh, jumps down here, uh, right around just under the three o'clock section. Uh, King goes in, rages it up, gets the gets the other air defense here. So looking pretty from this point, you know, just kind of like the old suicide hero in at those uh, air defense, and things are looking pretty good now because he's got uh, three lava hounds. I'm going to bring two lava hounds. No, uh, yeah, only two lava hounds, uh, but a ton of loons. He's just targeting them on all those defenses on the outside. Uh, still has a haste, a rage. Freeze goes down for that core. Once this stuff goes down here, there's nowhere to go for the balloons, but inside that core, right? The suicide heroes kind of created a bit of a funnel uh, for the balloons on either side of that. So everything's going to the core. Second freeze goes down. Balloons under the rage. This core does not stand a chance. Boom, boom, boom. Everything's going down. Look at that hound sitting there. Doing absolutely nothing. He's just looking at the balloons, destroying his base. He's like, how do I help you? But he can't. So he's just going to chill there and watch the base get completely wrecked by Mal here. Nice job, my friend. Air defense down. Clean up time. So I got some good news, actually, last night. Um, mouthpiece, uh, 2.0's leader, just messaged me. And... Uh, said that and asked me if I wanted to be part of the leadership team and I got promoted to co-leader 2.0. So I am truly, truly honored guys. Uh, you know, MP and Hody, Mal, and of course Nemo, our man behind the scenes. Can't forget him. Uh, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, you guys are awesome and I'm glad to be part of this, uh, leadership team and I hope to be part of 2.0's future. Uh, <laughs> you know where we're going and we're, uh, we're getting better every day, and I love seeing it. So thank you, guys. Uh, love being here. What do we got next? The Dirty Italian coming in on this base with four Earthquakes, uh, two heals, two Rages. This is a very, very cool attack. Um, I like what he does here. He's kind of going to walk the Queen uh, down from 9 o'clock, uh, down to 6 o'clock. Pulls out that uh, CC as well at the same time. Hound's going to come on over. This kind of takes a bit. I'm going to fast forward just through this Hound here. Because he's wax on this Hound forever. No need to waste in the Rage there, right? He wants to use the Rage when uh, he absolutely needs it. So Hound is now dead. She's going to step up, take all, all of this stuff out. Um, at first, I was watching this attack and <clears throat> trying to figure out exactly where these 13 Hogs were going to go with these Inferno Towers in there, but it's actually really, really awesome how he uh, plays this out. He's going to continue to walk this Queen down, right down through 6 o'clock. Once she gets down there, uh, he ends up sending a Golem in somewhere around the 3, 4 o'clock position, and jumps right in, ends up taking out the Inferno, and just kind of feeds the Hogs in on top of... Here it is. So here comes this Golem. Do a little bit of tanking. Wizards down to that funnel thing. 
<clears throat> that funnel thing that everybody's talking about. Man, I am tired today. <laughs> Earthquake goes down. So the Wizards are going to take out those defenses. Golem's about to reroute. Second Golem goes down. Third Golem goes down. All that's going to move right in at this Inferno Tower. Drops a CC with a P.E.K.K.A. and a couple Giants. I thought that was really cool. Um, but look at this. Like, there's not much protecting that Inferno Tower. So that's what he's doing here. He's just going to get right in there on top of the Inferno, on top of this core. Take out a big, big section. And look, here comes the Hog Line. Just right on the on sort of the back end or beside it, almost on the flank. Uh, the bomb goes off, but the heal is immediately down. So that is just perfect. Hogs are going to jump into the core, help out just a touch. Just going to work their way up and around the 12 o'clock position, take out all those point defense. As long as that kill spot can get that last Inferno down, which it is about to go down. See you later. Oh, <laughs> a little late on that. I swear the king was just whacking on it. Down it goes. <laughs> Hogs still in here doing doing work, right? No damn, no, no worry of damage. Everything is getting tanked right now. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> this base is toast. Look at all these units left over. <coughs> it still has giants from the initial entry. Like that is just insane. Beautiful attack, dirty. Good old, <laughs> good old hog attack. It's town all ten. Very sexy. Tree stars in the bag. Um, Mal with the sexy six pack hitting this ring base. Look at the comp four healers, two hounds, 29 balloons. So, uh, this queen walk is going to kind of walk and then sort of just charge into this, uh, this section of the base, takes out that air defense, uh, ends up taking out the queen, uh, and I believe pulling the CC out. I'm not 100% on that. Watch these replays in times four, so. Some of these things I seem to miss sometimes. <clears throat> Anyhow, the Queen's going to continue doing her thing, walking all the way down. Air defense number one is already dead. Wall breakers are in and successful. Queen's going to just walk right on in there, continue to mop all of that stuff up. No big deal. Rage is about to... Oh, no, he delays the rage here. This is crazy. Bomb goes off, everything. Just look at the patience on the rage. Like, I definitely would have ability to rage because I just get scared. Mal knows what's up, though. Just freaking pushes her to the limit. Way she goes right after that second air defense as soon as those storages go down. So just beautiful. Suicide King goes in there. Going to just run, just jump in, take out a bunch of, uh, I guess the goal is to funnel the balloons right into the core. Um, so you're going to see what happens here. Loons going in, few on each defense, few balloons on this back end on that other air defense. They're going to go down very, very quickly. And everything's just going to meet up in this core here, which is beautiful, beautiful planning. Freeze goes down. Rage goes down. Those loons are already on top of all that stuff. Another freeze goes down on the back end. Gets that Inferno Tower. Why am I times two in this? Sorry, Mel. But uh, all the core is absolutely shredded. It's GG anyways. Clean up time. Very sexy attack, Mel. Look at all those pups everywhere. In the bag. Beautiful. Uh, what is next? Oki. So Oki is going in uh, with th three or just two Lava Hounds maybe here. But uh, notice the three Lightning Spells. Um, very, very creative attack here. I believe he zaps the, uh, the Inferno Tower on the one side maybe. Yeah, there it goes. Earthquake goes down. Zap, zap, zap. See you later, Inferno Tower. So there's now a base with one Inferno Tower and mostly town. In fact, all town hall nine defenses. Still an early arch tower. So really, really good idea to bring that zap quake in that situation. Because now this queen walk's going to get big value on the side. Like the queen charge, sorry, I should say, is just going to walk right in and get all of this. There's no real danger. Has the rage for her if he needs it. Still has a haste and a freeze for the uh, balloon section of the raid here. Um, so he's going to go in get this air defense. You got to remember that uh, um, with that Inferno being down, uh, it doesn't matter quite as much, but he can probably suicide um, a hero in here and get another air defense. I honestly don't remember this attack whatsoever. Um, I definitely watched it though. So first air defense goes down. Everything's looking pretty good at this point. She's going to move on in, finish off that queen as a sliver of a health left, end up getting the expo, take out that sweeper, and finish off a bunch of that high hit point stuff. 
So she's working on that expo. Da, da, da. Here comes that king. That's what I was thinking with the suicide king. Yeah, he's going to go right in there. And does get the air defense. And she even steps down and helps out. So that second air defense is now down. So <laughs> basically 31%. But if you think with an Inferno 2 air defense being down, the defense of Queen being down, the CC being taken care of, like that is all huge, huge work for... Uh, um, for basically just a queen with healers and a king. So really nice job there, Oki, with that. Uh, first hound goes in. It gets ripped up very, very quickly, but the second hound ends immediately in right on top of it. A handful of balloons on each of those defenses. Everything's just going to work all work its way up right into that next Inferno Tower. Raid spell goes down. Going to just rip all of those defenses apart. Uh, hound's making its way over. Freeze goes down to kind of slow things down a bit because that uh, mine does pop the hound, which does prove to be... Uh, oh, no, he's got that other hound. Did he have three hounds there? Thought he only brought two. My bad. So the third hound's in anyways, and this pace is clearly GG. I thought it was GG without that third hound. Could have been a swag hound, in my opinion, Oki. Just shredded this pace. Nice job, man. It's tree in the bag. Double jump bomb. Oh, it doesn't even explode. Holy TH10 triples. Oki the Great, another six pack. Just beautiful war for you guys up here. Just had a lot of good practice, right, on uh, on these bases. This one, a uh, little more tricky, a lot more Town Hall 10 defenses in here. Um, sort of a, a closed off ring base, if you kind of look at it. This is a com more common base I've seen for uh, some form uh, anti two star Town Hall 10s. Uh, but the Queen's going to do her work. <laughs> so close to letting her go down there, but uh, she's going to be okay. Pops come out. It's just going to mop that up. The wizard helps out. Freaking let her in. It's going to continue walking her way all the way down. I think he lets the queen in here, though. I'm pretty sure. Continue to speed this up. Oh, Zapquake there. That's right. So Zapquake on that... Uh, Inferno Tower, so now he's going to let her in, and he's got no danger. Like She's already got 27%. She's going to get way more of this base. Defensive Queen is about to lock onto that King. Uh, Rage goes down. He's going to work his way in there. No danger of Inferno Tower, and the air attack has begun. So um, there's three air defenses up, but this Queen is about to finish off that next one, so he starts the air attack already. I love that timing on that. Freeze goes down over the core for that Inferno and Tesla. Haste Dispel is just ripping those balloons through the rest of the base. Just fantastic job here, Oki. Absolutely crushed it. Cannon is the last defense up. Down it goes. <clears throat> Queen is still full health. Just love it. Tree Stars in the bag. Oki the Great. Nice six pack, man. And Mixa. Coming in. <clears throat> Sorry. Coming in here with the uh, sort of bully attack. Obviously not sort of bully attack, but coming in with this Town Hall 11 versus 10 bully. <clears throat> 11 witches. I love just watching these attacks because they're just nuts. But really just going to open up a big, big piece of this base. Um, with this walk, the infernos are really deep, so that queen can kind of walk in here with no problems whatsoever. Oops, sorry, the one from work is messaging me. Oh, lovely. Um, so everything's just working, and the queen takes a bit of a hike. I think you definitely wanted the queen to kind of walk in there, but maybe not. Um, but look at the just skeleton train under that Grand Warden. Just love it. Everything's going to move in here now. Um, single target Inferno with against those max level witches is just trouble, especially that many of them. <laughs> just insane. Skeleton's just shredding through the Tesla, shredding through everything. Hound is now down. Things is going to mop up those pups. Once that's done, all these buildings are going to start going down. Hits that Grand Warden ability. I think just good timing on that. A um, lot more skeletons getting reproduced here. Just going in all directions at this base. Just eating up these defenses. King is now in there doing work. That second Inferno Tower is about to go down. A few more shots from those skeletons. Bam, bam, bam. Get over to that Inferno just in time. Is that two single target Infernos? I think it was. Oh. Uh, 
too bad for this guy because these witches are just destroying this base. Boom, boom, boom. <sighs> Basically, clean up time from this point. That Wiz Tower might have posted probably, but look at it. Look at how many witches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's got to be, but he brought 11. I would say there's at least eight witches alive still. So just freaking shredded that base mix. A nice job, buddy. And what would a TH10 episode slash 11 episode be without the man, Mofo? He is just a beast. Especially now, uh, working 11 versus 11. I love this. Um... Mo's going to go ahead and start this little bit of like a queen walk, walk everything down to this point, just take out all of this cluster defenses. Um, you know, this is a very compact base with these individual chambers. Not a huge fan of that. Um, brings the two lava hounds, one golem. So you're going to see how this plays out. Uh, Queen's just going to continue to clearing the way, gets that air defense. Then he ends up walking over to the other one, gets the other air defense. Ugh. Excuse me. Raging it up. Adds the wizard. Always love Mo with that. He always, always drops that wizard to help out with that Lava Hound. Just to burst through the Lava Hound a lot quicker. Help with a couple pops before it goes down. But in this case, it doesn't even go down. Helping out with the high hit points uh, buildings too. So really good value on that wizard with that queen there. Finally, it goes down. But queen's about to get that second air defense. And then he's going to send in his golem. Send in his king. Here they go. Giant to open the wall for the queen there too. That was a really nice play. Little things like that. Mo was talking to me about just the importance of scouts with things like that. You just need to know. Um, once you've seen an attack on a base a couple times, like from a Town Hall 9 and then Town Hall 10, and you get to know uh, maybe some walk patterns and um, you can uh, know to bring a giant at certain points and things like that, it just it really helps out. Scouts are such a huge, huge piece of uh, our 10s and 11s being successful, especially when our 9s are stepping up and doing it. It's just fantastic work. You know, secure the 2-star with a 9 and get a scope for the TH10 triple. That is what it's all about. So just want to say hats off to all those 9s out there that uh, lately have been stepping up and really trying to help out get those 2-stars on our uh, 10s for our 10s and our, especially our 11s. So Mofo, you're the man. Thanks, buddy. TH10, or sorry, TH11 triple in the bag. So just a nuts war, tons of Town Hall 10s in there, but our guys really stepped up and uh, did a fantastic job. So uh, guys, keep it up because uh, we're going to need this coming uh, more difficult wars, obviously. And uh, when it comes down to it, I mean, all the pressure is always on the Town Hall 11s and 10s, guys, especially the 11s. Um, you know, that's usually uh, what those wars come down to is the performance of our top guys. And... Uh, it's a lot of pressure, so, you know, um, I, uh, I feel for you, but, uh, keep it up guys. You're doing great. So, uh, just going to call it a night here and that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next tree start till then I'm out.